So this is going to be a weird one. Um, not coloring, but it has to do with pencil sharpeners. So we're going to be taking a cruise, and I want to be able to take one of these with me instead of this big one that makes so much noise. But I want it to be able to travel. So for reasons of safety, I did not film this part. But I put this right here and traced around it, put tape on it so I could see the tracing. Then I went to the stove. <laughs> I did put that in the flame, melted through. It took several times. And I'll tell you, going this way was easy. Going this way, not as easy. All right, so now let's see where we're at. You can see it's, it's rough and clunky looking, but I mean, for a first try, I really think that's kind of good. I don't know. Maybe I don't have high expectations. Um, so now as we can see, still doesn't quite fit in there. <laughs> I don't want to break it trying. So I'm going to grab a nail file. Let's see, get in my crafting toolbox. And if I don't have a nail file right here, oh, I do, I do. Hang on. And say so if not, I could just use a piece of sandpaper, but I have a nail file. So what I'm going to do is smooth this up some. All right, now let's go ahead and do it over my craft mat. And let's get back in the picture. There we go. That way anything afterwards can just be dumped in the trash. So, hey, sometimes y'all want to see what goes through my crazy little brain. Here it is. So I'm just filing this. Yeah, it's a regular old medicine bottle. Yeah, it's still pretty rough, but not as bad. it doesn't have to be real smooth, but like if it's laying in my lap, I'd prefer not to snag up a nice shirt or something. All right, let's see how we're doing this way. Okay, so it looks like side to side here it's going to fit, and here that's going in too. So it looks like I can almost make it. I need some off this corner right here. I know it's crazy, but if it works, won't that be cool? And if it doesn't, you'll never know because I won't post the video probably. <laughs> so at this point, you can assume it's going to work since I'm still going at it and you're getting to watch. Now the other thing I can do too is when this is finished, I can send a piece of paper through my little sticky machine and stick paper or contact paper around the outside. Just kind of decorate it up a little. Cause dang it, if we're gonna do it, let's do it good. All right, so there it is, it fits. Now, That's pretty flush. Ta-da! See, and you thought I was crazy. You could get packages of these things like 10 in a package at the Dollar Tree. Now, I'm wondering if I need to build something up here to help hold it so it doesn't wiggle. I'm going to pull it back out just a touch. And that's something I'll have to play with, whether to build that up or not. And there's actually a little bit more room if I turn it over 
and have the stuff fall out that way. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, there we go. So if I do it like that, right? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> just cracks me up. All right, so let's try a pencil. And of course I would have the lid back on. I'm trying not to push real hard. But look what's happening. All the stuff's inside. And it did sharpen the pencil. All right. So I have my hot glue gun on. I'm going to do this. Might as well do it, right? So I am going to feed some glue right there. Try not to melt my bottle. Feed it around here. Feed some across the bottom. Now I will let that dry good before I play with it anymore. All right, hopefully I was in the screen for all that. It's kind of hard to watch what I'm doing there and not my, burn myself here. But um, personally, I think that's pretty cool. And I may not even decorate it or anything. I mean, that's just a portable pencil sharpener. Somebody's probably done it somewhere before, but you know what? I must say I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out, especially as fast as the project as that was. Now I can go with a smaller bottle so that that hits the side when it comes over, but then I'm not going to be able to get as many shavings in. So is this dry yet? Oh, not yet. All right, that's all right. It'll take a little while for that to dry. And no, it wasn't hot. It's probably a low temp stick in there, but I'm not gonna leave that plugged in because I think that's enough. My only debate still is putting something on the other side so that this doesn't wiggle around. And um, actually, before I unplug that, let's open this. How about if we put some glue on the inside right there? What do you think? Think I can get it in there? <laughs> For you that know me, oh yes I can. And I'm going to drop some down the back. And just let it kind of run down there. That should help hold it. You think? I'm thinking it should. Yeah, so now it's come down the back too. And so far I have not melted the container. So I would say we're good with that. Okay. All right. Looks good to me. I would call that a success in portable travel size pencil sharpener making 101. <laughs> All right. Hope you've had fun. If you enjoy my uh, videos, don't forget that you can follow across the top here where it says home and video and all that. Just slide that over and there will be an about screen and click that and down at the bottom there will be a place where you can sponsor me. And I mean, even a buck helps, whatever. It allows me to go out and buy more pencil sharpeners and do more ditzy stuff like this. So hope you enjoyed. I know it was short. Hopefully it was sweet. Let me know if you end up making one. Talk to you later. Bye.